Well, this week we find ourselves on a bus full of young Hapkido masters, students, artisans, him as well. We're on our way to Seoul for the annual Hapkido tournament. Uh, Tawny will be competing as well as myself. Uh, well, Tawny will be competing. I will be performing half of the moves that I was supposed to have learned. The other half I will be making up. Feel good? Uh, what are your thoughts and feelings on this whole thing? I think it's going to be excellent. I think, remember, you are tall, uh. strong nose, blue eyes, 14 moves, 10 good features. You know this is a Hapkido tournament, not an Aryan rally. It's a fashion as well. It's no? What's going through your mind? Uh, I think I'm the only one competing in my age group because I'm not seeing a lot of girls and I'm not like, seeing a lot of older women, so uh, I might take it. <laughs> Hi. So, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You stretch. How do you feel? Oh, good. How do you feel? Yeah. Feel good? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hapkido demonstrations are unique from other martial arts tournaments in that they are purely for demonstration. Because of the violent and aggressive nature of Hapkido and the permanent damage it does to joints, it has been unanimously agreed by the Hapkido masters that there should be no actual competitive tournaments in which competitors fight. But this doesn't necessarily mean that it's particularly safe for those in the demonstration. Fortunately, half of Hapkido is learning how to take a punch, or a kick, as the case may be. These were Tawny's competitors. The first half of the tournament was purely demonstration. And what a demonstration it was. It started with children, but moved up to the high-level masters. All of the Hapkido skills were showcased, from the exotic jumps and falls, to martial kicks of every shape and variety, as well as proficiency in weapons. Before Tawny could showcase her skills, we had to wait for the elementary school kids to go. And there's nothing quite so humiliating as watching a seven-year-old completely destroy someone's joint system. As the day progressed, it was finally time for the elementary school kids to go back to the benches. And then the middle schoolers came out. Now this whole day, Tawny had been promised she'd be competing in a category of only women. That was not true. But she made them look like women. A foot shorter than most of them, 
and only practicing for a month and a half, Tawny came out of the box swinging. If not slightly confused about what happened to the women's category. In fact, Tawny did so well, she even got a small crowd to gather around and clap for her. But this was only the first half. Tawny's competition includes kicks, but also nakbop, or the art of falling. So after she had done her best, it came time for the long jump. Master Sim was waiting anxiously in the bleachers. This was the moment of truth. And she certainly passed with flying colors. Girls. Those are not girls. Those are lean men. 